Hello guys and welcome to another Beast Wars Deluxe review. Today we're going to be looking at Beast Wars 2 Tonbot. Yeah. Tonbot. Um the this mold was released in North America in uh, completely different colors. It was black and red and referred to as Jetstorm. Um Yeah. He is Intended, I believe, to be a dragonfly. Um, yeah. Some sort of dragonfly. Um, you know, not, not, not a bad, uh, not, not completely terrible, anyway. Not completely terrible for what this is meant to be. Um, you can, you can bend these legs down to sort of allow him to do a little bit of, uh, kind of pose him the way you would expect a dragonfly to sit. Um, yeah, that's all right. Um, he's uh, fascinating. Uh, the uh, you can see the robot mode head right there. Yeah, um, real real uh, dragonflies actually have a um, a hinged jaw, a uh, sort of a a jaw that has the ability to launch forward a little bit. Uh, you can see it in the um, you can see it in the nymphs. They use it uh, to capture prey. They uh, and are quite voracious. They have the ability to capture small fish, frogs, and even turtles when they're large enough, and uh, can bite humans and uh, leave quite a painful bite. Um, but uh, so I guess maybe that's what this is. Referencing something like uh, this this bit his his robot mode mouth mouth and he's got these mouth parts too that open and close um, The shape of the head to me doesn't really look very dragonfly like uh, In fact, I'm not exactly sure that this is really looks like any particular insect maybe a stonefly uh, except you well stoneflies uh, fold their wings up on their on their back here, in uh, the same way you'd see uh, almost almost like a beetle, but not they don't have wing cases. Um, still pretty good. I uh, you can it's quite obvious you know when you look at when you look at the uh, the abdomen that this is supposed to be a some form of uh, Paleoptera, a uh, damselfly, a uh, griffinfly, or a dragonfly of some sort. Um, yeah, he's all right. Uh, he has a gimmick in this form. Um, uh, you can see right here, this bit. When you push this bit back here, it, uh, creates this, uh, it, it, it feels spring-loaded, but I don't think that it is. And, uh, what that does is it allows water to shoot out of this here. So it kind of gives you the impression that this guy can, like, spray acid or something out of his mouth, like a xenomorph or something. Fascinating, yeah? And he also has this thing. He also has this, this feature. You can press this button, and these launchers swing under his wings, and he has... He can shoot missiles in his beast mode. Huh. That's a first, isn't it? He's got mechanical weaponry in his beast mode. Hmm. Cool. Kind of breaks, kind of breaks the, the the immersion that this is supposed to be a you know robot pretending to be a real insect, of course. But you know that was never going to be a thing when you are. Um, you know, a roughly human, humanoids, you know, roughly human sized robot transforming into an insect like this. You, it's just never going to happen. Um, I like the way how these legs pose. It's, uh, it's made out of this transparent amber like plastic here. Um, so are the wings and those missiles. Uh, in order to transform him, he's relatively simple, um, but not uninspired. You can pull these parts here down to form the lower torso and 
you uh, to finish transforming him, I believe you just I think you just leave these legs out like this, like that, and then these legs up. There we go. And going up, up here, you unpeg these these side bits from the head, and then one of the missiles decides it's going to. I was pressing that button. Just unpeg that from the side of the head. Flip these like this so that the eyes are down. And now you can free up the torso, the robot mode torso, from inside this part. Let's see if I can get this to, to work on camera for us. There we go. Yeah, and it uh, swings around like this. And you just join these pieces together and now they are in place, and you've got this head sticking out like that, and you just lower this into position where the uh, where you know it's relatively close to the to the head to the body that it sticks out like he can kind of do this weird action. <laughs> anyway, uh, you take these le these wings, you fold them up here like this across his body. And now you've got these little these these, these little mat mouth parts for his uh, for his uh, insect mode become these these little two pronged hands. He's got two digits, and these wings are you know you can I guess you, you can do whatever you want with those. You can you can fold them back out of the way. And his head tilts a little bit, but because it's on a pipe, because of the squirt gun feature, they kind of it'll kind of bend back up. Um, he's kind of kind of he kind of looks a bit like a predator, doesn't he? He's uh, very very strange. One of the one of the weirder um, robot mode designs. Um, he's got compound eyes in his robot form, like Retrax does, but doesn't have that doesn't have those emoting uh, uh, graphics on them like he does. They're just solid, they're just, you know, solid gold colored, um, which is, you know, fine, I guess. And now, do I have these, le these, these legs transformed correctly? I believe I do. You don't really do much with them. They just kind of, they just kind of stick out behind there, and uh, he stands pretty well because the uh, the insect abdomen there kind of acts a bit like a tripod. He uh, he's not going to really fall over. You can get him into some. You can get him into some poses. I th I'm pretty sure you can. Um, Will he cooperate, though, or will he simply fall over? I, th I think you can get him into some poses if, if you use the tripod, but uh, he's he's fine. Surprisingly simple, but he the way he transforms is to me somewhat unconventional. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, now, is there anything about this I, I, I have any problem with? Well, I kind of feel like I kind of feel like the um, the ability to fire your missiles in beast mode sort of breaks the immersion that it's in, supposed to be a real insect. You know, um, and, you know these these missiles don't even really <laughs> don't even really look like they're intended to work in robot mode. I mean, I guess they do now. You can bend those wings out of the way and he can just sort of lean lean in and fire them. But uh yeah that's pretty much it for Tonbot. Um a weird figure. A weird figure. Interesting, but weird. Um tell me what you think. Um rate, comment, subscribe. 
uh, offer some constructive criticism uh, or uh, just uh, say say uh, just share your thoughts. Uh, and uh, that's it for now. And one more thing before I go. If you look under here, like many of the figures I've showed you so far, there's the rub sign. And on this one, it will be a maximal because Tonbot is not a Predacon. Tonbot is, I believe, the second in command of the Insectrons. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's a good guy, but uh, doesn't really doesn't really look like one, does he? Anyway, thank you for watching.